Hi, today we're talking about the different types of child custody orders that a court can make in a divorce. The court can make an order granting you and your spouse rights to the custody of the children in a number of different variations. Number one, sole custody. If you are given sole custody of your children, you will become the sole decision maker for major decisions concerning their upbringing. The court will usually give sole custody to one parent if the parent's relationship is a very unhealthy, unstable and hostile one and where their constant arguing and antagonism makes it unfeasible and unrealistic and seemingly impossible or impracticable for them to communicate, discuss, compromise or agree on any issue or decision relating to the children. It is also possible that the couple has already exhausted other alternative channels and methods of resolving their disagreements, such as mediation and counselling. In cases like these, the court may feel that sole custody is more appropriate because it is better for the well-being of the children, that decision-making relating to their major milestones and events in their lives are not negatively affected, complicated or disrupted because of the parents' constant quarrelling and their inability to, to cooperate even for their children's sake. In some cases, one parent may voluntarily choose to surrender the right to custody of the children during the negotiation with the other parent uh, and as a condition for getting more favourable terms and rights in terms of other aspects of the divorce or the ancillary matters. Number two, joint custody. If you and your spouse are given joint custody of your children, both parents will be able to jointly make major decisions concerning uh, the children. This will need both parents to be able to discuss and agree on the terms of the decisions and gives them an equal voice in deciding how to bring up the children. Quite often, the Family Justice Courts in Singapore give joint custody compared to sole custody because it recognises the importance and benefit of having both parents actively participate in the upbringing of the children and it wants to encourage both parents to be committed and to take part in contributing to the development of the children's life, their education and character even after their marriage has ended. The third type of order is a hybrid order. This is a court order which gives one parent with custody of the children uh, on the condition that he must consult the other parent on some specific matters that relate to the uh, welfare of the children such as religion or uh, relocating to another country. Another type of uh, order is a split custody order. If there are two or more children involved in a divorce, a split custody order can give one parent custody of one child and the other parent custody of the other child. And this is uncommon and difficult to work in practice because it would involve splitting up the living arrangements of the children who you are possibly siblings. If you and your spouse have agreed on having a split custody order for your children, you may need to file a, a written statement or an affidavit to explain why this arrangement will be in the best interest of your children. As long as a custody order or care and control order is active, only the parent with custody or care and control can bring the children outside of Singapore unless the parent who does not have custody or care and control has given his or her consent for this or the court has given permission for this. So there you have it, some very basic information about the types of child custody orders that a court can make in a divorce. Thanks for watching.